Today we'll be taking a look at a simple but powerful media player from InMatrix. This is Leah from File Critic, and today we'll be reviewing Zoom Player Max. The installer for this is only 30 megabytes, which is pretty small for a full media player. Now if we open up the user interface, it reminds me a lot of VLC, but with a more futuristic kind of theme. So as you can see, this is Zoom Player Max 11. They have uh, the whole thing in the window. And uh, on the left-hand corner, you've got your volume, and uh, they have a nice visual demonstration of your volume on the top right, so you know exactly what percentage of your volume you've set it to. And then you've got your usual play, pause, next, rewind, and forward, and uh, an open button to open a media file. Now here we've got some more advanced stuff, like if we hit this button, as you can see we have some additional tools like a skin selector, a station manager, color control, last open navigator, media library editor, and uh, chapter editor, and then we've got options. Now if we hit the down button we have uh, a saturation mode where you can increase and decrease the saturation of the video. You can increase and decrease the contrast and the brightness right within the player, which is pretty nice. So this does it kind of at a software level so that you don't have to mess with your monitor settings all the time. So for a particular video, if you want to increase the brightness, you can just hit the plus button and uh, it's going to increase the brightness. And you can always reset it back to the original value if you choose. And then beside these uh, two advanced menu options, we've got the equalizer. And uh, the EQ here is um, very nice looking. It's got these nice silver buttons. And uh, you can change your frequencies here to near low ends, high ends, and mids, uh, just the way you like them. Let me see if they have any presets. Yes, they do. So you can select a preset here depending on the genre of what you're watching or listening to. At the top, we have a full screen or restore option where you can go to full screen. And uh, as you can see, it takes up the entire screen. We double click. Double click actually starts playing media. And click pauses. And click play. So you can just click anywhere on the screen to play and pause. Now, in order to exit out of this user interface, I guess you have to press a button. Let me guess escape. So once you press escape, you're back in the windowed option. And you have a nice scroll option here to move throughout your track. You can go forward and back anywhere you like, and it works really smoothly. And it also shows you the timestamp of where you're moving. Now this gets us to audio playback. As you can see, this is how it plays audio. You've got your album art or whatever in the center screen and uh, well you just play it now one thing I'd say is this is going to be very familiar to users of VLC media players so if you're that kind of a person who prefers media players like VLC maybe a more advanced and powerful option this is going to be a very nice tool for you now, here you've got your playlist which can be docked alongside the player or move separately and this shows you all the files that you have upcoming and you can move this uh, around and you can you know arrange the files in any order that you like you can move something up you can move something down and you can directly start playing anything from here like let's say I want to play mice on Venus so there you go now it's playing as you can see really smooth and nice playback here it seems to be fairly light on the system as well. But if you are a very advanced kind of media person and you want to really get in depth, this is not going to be a great user interface. As I said, once again, this is going to appeal to users of VLC. But if you're a user of something a bit more sophisticated, maybe something like iTunes, 
where you have uh, much more information in the user interface, you're probably not going to like that. Of course, this so being an advanced tool does provide you with a lot of features. It's not like uh, this is all you get, but you know, the user interface is more tuned towards that type of use. So if you're a VLC kind of person, it's, it's great. Personally, I would say this type of a UI is great for video playback, but not so much for audio playback. But again, it's a matter of preference, so whether or not you like this UI will really depend on your taste. So now let's get to video playback. So let's just open a video here. I'm going to just right click, open with Zoom Player, and that should start it. And there you go, it's playing our video. And uh, let's try out the additional options that they've given us. So uh, I believe we can increase the brightness. Of course, this is not as effective as really changing the brightness on your monitor, but it does kind of help in those dark clips. So you can have your video playing over here. You can skip between things. Now this is a pretty high resolution video, so um, it's having some issues on the system, but more or less it's, it's pretty smooth. I haven't had any issues. And at the beginning when you install this product, it actually gives you a lot of options to install various codecs so you can choose exactly what you want. As you can see, video playback is, is really good and looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just showing you the different aspects of the product. Now it's up to you to decide whether or not this is how you like to do it. Of course, you could have directly opened the video from here. You can go up to any folder and uh, you can directly start playing video. So, really nice UI. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And let's take a look at their options. We have some interface options, so it's customizable as well. Then for playback, we have some, you know, auto replay, uh, close player, your action on completing a playlist, or, you know, what happens when you insert a CD or DVD. And uh, you can set it to load multi-part files as well. Again, you've got some file format associations. You can choose which formats to open automatically with Zoom Player. And uh, well, system, you've only got one setting here. Disable screensaver and power management while playing so that nothing interrupts your media consumption. Language is set to English. You can have it in different languages, but you know, a no-nonsense player, um, you know, user interface here. It's not giving you a lot of crap, very simple and easy to understand. But if you are someone who likes to go advanced, they do have a different menu that gives you a lot more options if you really need them. But for an everyday user, it's got a very simplistic settings menu as well. So I believe this is going to work well with all types of users. And the user interface here is very intuitive. And since it's uh, similar to VLC, which is very popular, you know, pretty much most people have probably used VLC once in their lifetime. So this is going to be very easy to get used to from that perspective. So that's my overview of Zoom Player Max. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video if you did and uh, subscribe to our channel for more. And as always, don't forget to check out our written review at www.filecritic.com. See you in the next video. This is Leo signing out.